Now, one mistake I made when I spoke about the fantasy structure and how you could basically remove it with deconsolidation and ideology is that there's a reason people don't take it seriously when they look at it. You see, I always thought that the government was run by the state, but up until now I just realized the state is run by the government. You see, the state isn't a convoluted thing that we put faith and practice on because it's been built upon by just any mode of insanity or whatever you want to call it. It's a project. It's a construct for a commonwealth as Leviathan states. Now, when Hobbes wrote Leviathan, the general idea for Leviathan is the concept that there's a mass of people and a commonwealth built upon that. And Marx says that states use this commonwealth for whatever they desire. A slave state, a capitalist state, socialist state of feudalist states that common wolf could be used for whatever reason and that's the fantasy structure right there it's when the government engages itself in a project to put this common wolf to find its common wolf it doesn't just have to be with taxation it could be with about anything, even the South American pre-white man states use a way of achieving this commonwealth without the need of taxation. It all depended upon services there. That's what the commonwealth was built upon. It was built upon labor. And then this advanced whatever ideology that was, which was actually some sort of collectivist state. I would call it caste system. Since it was a sort of caste system that they had in South America or some of those states before the white man. And this makes me wonder is the way I thought about ending the state incomplete? I mean, in three months, I'm going to release my anti-statism circa 2013. But is the true answer really to end the state with a common wealth that's going to be deconsolidated and... Um, no one's going to participate in it because of the ideology that they'll have. Or could it be that whatever nation or little group, club, uh, clique, world, empire that this commonwealth is built upon, the government that runs it is going to transact it from away from that commonwealth account and into something much better. That governments will one day avoid projects like these, like churches avoid these religious-esque commonwealth projects. And then they finally start to do whatever it is is actually their job, which could be arbitration, the building of the roads, or military defense, which is what the government actually needs or could use if it's one part of the accepted services since it can't just be arbitration you don't go to Starbucks for just coffee do you? 